Okay, this is Kyle with 5-Minute Guide, and today um, we're going to continue our lower third project, which we did before, which um, is right here, Steve Alien, Area 51, tag down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to export this from Motion, and we're going to put it into a Final Cut project. So let's do that now. Um, so we have everything all set up, how we want it and everything. It looks good. So what we'll do is go to File and Export. And right here, just have it on video only. That's fine because there's no audio in, in this project. Um, but if you do have audio, make sure that you check video and audio because um, sometimes it gets a little a little messed up and it doesn't always automatically select it for you. All right, um, I'm just going to put it in here under um, How To Project Files. And I'll just put it right in here with the other, you know, project files for this. Um, and I'll label it Steve the Alien Lower Third. Okay. Export that. Goes pretty quick. While it's exporting, let's open up Final Cut. I'm using Final Cut 7, um, it's the academic version, although it's basically the same thing as the pro version, other than you can't update it, which since Mac um, decided to go with um, Final Cut X, I don't really want to upgrade. And if you're watching this video, you probably didn't either. So let's see how that, okay, so it went through. So here it is, blah, 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 looks good. Okay, so we'll close that, and we'll go over to the Final Cut project here. we got an empty sequence, and what we'll do is we'll actually go to the Finder window here, and we see it right down here. This is the lower third, so we'll drag that over to our um, pane over here. It's a little project pane. I didn't label my project. A good habit to get into is once you open up a project, is to save your project. Okay, so we'll save it as we'll save it as where am I here? Did it do YouTube? Oops. No. Projects. There we go. Okay, and we'll do this as Steve the Alien. Lower third. We'll save that. And that way everything will get saved, you know, where it should be. Um, okay. So we got that. Let's go back down to our finder here. And let's grab a video file. Yeesh. Um, let's see here. So let's take the UFO alien news one. We'll take that. Bring it down here. Attention, video clip does not match the sequence settings. For best performance, yes, I would like to change it. Thank you. Excellent. And it's going to make me render this whole thing out. That's a real pain in the butt. Um, however, that's fine because I'm only going to use a small portion of this anyways. All right, so let's take this. Okay, so we have our video clip down here. And as you can see over in this window here, um, you know, that's our video, blah, 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 blah. So um, let's take the lower third and let's put it down here. And we'll just scrub through. It all needs to be rendered, but there we go. So let's, I'm hitting B for blade tool. Oh, there's also a tool pane over here in Final Cut. You want the blade tool, and we're just going to click anywhere over here. We hit A again, um, or the arrow, and then it's your selector tool. You just hit delete, and it'll delete that, and then I won't have to render quite so much. Um, and then just hit Apple R, and it'll start rendering it. And it's going fairly quick. So, um, yeah, while that renders. 
Uh, yeah, actually, that looks pretty good. Um, I was kind of concerned that it would be a little bit too high um, up here. And we might want to bring it down just a slight bit. And uh, I'll show you how to do that later. And we'll probably have to re-render it, but, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, actually, that looks pretty good. But I'll bring it down just a little bit just so I can show you how to do that as well while we're at it. Okay, so let's play it through. Um, Hello, I'm Steve, and I am here to tell you all about me. For now, anyways. Later, maybe I'll get into some other topics, issues. Uh, who knows? Maybe even teach you how to cut handcuffs and how to. I don't know. Annoy your neighbors. Okay. So, there he goes. Looks good. Um, but it is a little high. So, let's go up here. And where it says, usually it's clicked on just image. Got an image and wireframe. And actually, that's probably not going to work. Um, I'm going to have to double click. You want to double click on this one. Okay. And then. You can bring it down. If you hold the shift key, it'll keep it lined, lined up, it'll snap. So we can keep it lined up a little bit and just drop it ever so slightly. Um, yeah, actually, let's show title saves. So yeah, so we're still, we're still within the title saves, so we're good. We just dropped it ever so slightly, but just to show you how to do that, um, that's, why, that's why we did that. So. Um, and then you have to re-render it. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Just take a few seconds. Dun, 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 dun. I'll probably cut this part out. Actually, I'll probably cut out, I probably would've cut out the other one too. I just, now I'm getting around to telling you this. I don't know, I might not. We'll see, or rather you will. All right. Dun, dun, dun. You won't, because I would be talking while this is rendering. Huh. Okay, so now that that's rendered, we'll just play through. I am here to tell you all about me. For now, anyways. Okay. Later, maybe I'll Looks get into some good. other topics, issues. It's uh, fairly, fairly evenly spaced, you know, whatnot. Looks, looks decent. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, if there's nothing on the end of this timeline, then you can just make sure that this sequence is clicked on and then you can export it. Um, but I think we're gonna actually get that, we're gonna do that in another video because I think I've taken up my time slot for this one. All right, so that's how you export from Motion and bring it in um, to Final Cut. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to doing more of these. All right.